Section 6.1 RA-6. In the probability distribution to the right, the random variable X represents the number of marriages an individual age 15 years or older has been involved in. We want to compute and interpret the mean of the random variable X. Now, the mean of a discrete random variable is given by the following formula. We have u, mu subscript x, which is going to equal the sum of x times the probability of x. Okay, where x is the value of the random variable and px is the probability of observing the value. So again, here is the value of x, and then this is the column for the probability of x. Okay, so we're going to use the formula to compute the mean of the random variable x. And so in order to do that, okay, we know that we have u mu subscript x. So the first value of x is going to be 0, and then we're going to multiply that by the probability of 0. And then plus, we're going to take 1, and then multiply that by the probability of 1. Plus, we're going to take 2 and multiply that by the probability of 2. Plus 3 times the probability of 3. Plus 4 times the probability of 4. And then plus 5 times the probability of 5. So, we know that this is going to be 0 times, well the probability of 0 up here is 0 0.302. So that's 0 0.302. Plus we're going to take 1 and then multiply that next one which is 0.558. Plus 2 times the probability of 2 which is 0 0.113. Plus 3 times the probability which is 0 0.019 plus 4 times the probability of 4 which is 0 0.006 plus 5 times the probability of 5 which is 0 0.002 now when we multiply and add those all together then what we're going to get is 0 0.875 so therefore we can say that the mean which is mu subscript x is equal to 0 0.875 marriages. So the mean of a discrete variable can be thought of as the mean outcome of the probability experiment if the experiment were repeated many times. If many individuals aged 15 years or older were surveyed, then we would say that the sample mean number of marriages should be close to 0 0.875.